Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. We're just a normal podcast to guys who don't say bad things ever. How's it going? Other family not, friendly friends? I don't say bad things ever in my life. We're just a couple of, we're just five. Five today. Five. 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 Yeah. We're just here. Here. Introduced we're, our yummy, guest. Yummy Introduce is here. Yummy. Strawberry Hello, is here. Everyone. Strawberry. Hello, Strawberry. Yummy. Hello, <laughs> Hello, I, Mr. Yummy. I, I, how you doing? I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty good. Reference. Yummy, how you been, bro? What's I've your political stance? Yeah, who'd you vote for? <laughs> this oh, right off the bat. Prefer <laughs> your social security, security <laughs> number. Yeah, that's a good idea, Yummy. <laughs> how much money did you make in 2020? <laughs> like 10 grand. <laughs> oh, that's not, oh, that's not not good. That's not, not good, yeah. Good. <laughs> that ain't the worst. I can get you a long sandwich. <laughs> Unless you're like homeless, then I guess ten grand would be good. You could get you know, a lot of can... bologna sandwiches actually for for that much soup. So, yeah, yeah. I tr- I, trust me, I know. I've tested the market. Do you still? Does, does anybody in this call right now still eat bologna sandwiches? Absolutely. No. 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 Really? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Go it's ahead. It's disgusting meat, bro. It's water. Water meat. It's, it's just water. mystery goo. Listen, sometimes I like to be nostalgic to my childhood and upbringing. I'm sorry I wasn't what? some rich Arab that had oil money. Okay, Blarg, we didn't all grow up with oil money. I, I ate oil bologna money. growing up. The, the, it was oil when I was money. older, and when you go to peel a, a bologna off another bologna, it sounds like fucking Velcro. <laughs> that made me realize I probably shouldn't eat this. Well, you know, that Velcro is the sound of my childhood, Blarg. So if you don't like it, <laughs> go back to your country. I, I haven't left Canada. <laughs> he hasn't left this country. <laughs> no, I don't eat it very often. I prefer I mean, ham. Have you had Thank mortadella? Because mortadella is literally just like fancy bologna. I don't bologna. know what that means. Okay, is yeah, that the bologna that has like the little olive slices in it? No. I will, maybe. I don't know. It's not. It's like bologna, but it's not technically bologna. It's just fancy bologna, though. It's the same. Y'all eat weird shit, dude. Fancy bologna. I just yeah. Mortadella is fancy bologna. Oxymoron. uh, Yeah. Oxymoron. (laughs) Bologna is fancy enough. I mean, I don't know what more you could do to it to make it better. When you go to a steakhouse, that's what they offer you is a rolled up bologna slice. How would you like your bologna cooked? Dipped in. You tell me a fried bologna sandwich ain't good. Go to hell. Wait, fried bologna and diabetes. You Wait, never had a does. fried bologna sandwich? No. no. What do you, how do you, fr- like deep fried or just like pan fried? Just like you put it in a frying pan and get it all crispy. <laughs> mm. Somebody it's stop bitching their beard. No. Today. This is very distracting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Beard well, scratch. I didn't grow up with Arab oil and California money. Oh, oh, oil. Oil. Yeah, why can't you oh. say oil? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Arab oil. Arab Mark, oil. why can't your country use dollar bills? And not cartoons. <laughs> True. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, that's fair. I, I have, I have no like rebuttal for money. that. <laughs> yeah, our money is plastic. Actually, we our money's money vertical melts now. if you burn it. Well, it ours, ours, ours yours gets ruined that. if it gets wet. Yeah, or if you burn it. Yeah, what do you... Shut up. <laughs> but our new money is now vertical. <laughs> Same with Australia's. Wow. I don't know. I, I saw a $10 bill for the first time in like a year and, and that shit like vertical not horizontal and I didn't like that cringe to be honest it's quirky. vertical well, money but what is what is the reasoning like why did they make I, it vertical I, I, I don't know I, I feel like it was just like an art choice or like yeah that looks cool I don't know and that's I, fucking I, dumb y'all can't get shit so right up there it's easier to put it in vending machines the right way the only thing I could think of <laughs> maybe but that's a pretty niche problem to fix all of money <laughs> like to vending redo machines the kill whole people. money yeah, that's true. What? Is what? that like nine vending machines kill people a year or something like that? I think it's more than sharks, if I'm being honest. Oh, <laughs> vending machines? Yeah. Why? What? People, people, people mystery like, killer. People like shake them to get their stuff out and it, like, and it falls, falls on them and crushes them. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what are you, yeah, what are oh you talking God. about? Just like has a gun? That's a weird statistic. Yeah. So in the US, it's an average of four <laughs> deaths per year. From a vending machine. Oh my machine. God. From a vending machine. You would think after I'm, the first I'm one, people surprised. would learn. Well, that's just learn. that's just with anything, McNasty. You know, people just don't learn, or they don't yeah, care to true. learn. And it, it, he did say the statistic was the U.S., and we're like statistically one of the dumbest fucking countries. So I guess it makes yeah, sense. you guys are definitely up there. I wonder what Canada's vending machine. Watch it be like two hundred a year. 
<laughs> Slides on all the ice. <laughs> Rams people. All Canadian uh, vending machines are extremely top heavy. They're shaped like an upside down triangle. <laughs> Well, all, all I could see is that somebody took vending machines in BC and started putting opioids in them instead of actual things. Dude, that's fucking, that's epic. Uh, why can't we have that here? Everyone's got to be all politically correct. Does that make that person an oxymoron? <laughs> that, that was... Like oxy cotton moron. <sighs> Yummy, what's life like in Vegas? I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine that you see a lot of fucking dumb shit in Vegas. Yeah, crackheads, um, lots of homeless people jaywalking, causing a surprisingly amount of uh, or a surprising amount of car accidents. I've seen three <laughs> since I've lived here of homeless people jaywalking and people rear-ending what? each other. What a niche issue! <laughs> so that happens a shit ton. Um, other than that, where I live now, it's actually really nice. Pretty quiet. Oh yeah, didn't you but just move into your new place? I've lived in three <laughs> yeah. three different houses in Vegas. Oh wow, why? Um, first well, one you guys were in the gamer mansion. In, yeah, so we had the nonsense house, oh, which right. was the first house, and then we moved to the gamer mansion uh, under Space Station. <laughs> Is that the that official house, name? <laughs> gamer the mansion. Gamer mansion. <laughs> yeah, the gamer mansion. That we could not afford, and they were like, "Hey, if you guys want to stay here and continue to pay the rent, you can." We were like, "Hell no!" So now oh, so Cobb lives with his for girlfriend. Free for a while? Yeah, that's what we did. Uh, They're nonsense. And now Cobb lives with his girlfriend in an apartment, and I'm rooming mm. with Evan in a house pretty close by. Uh, Do y'all go cool. gambling a lot? Well, I can't. Not for another month. Wait, what? Uh, are you not, you're not 21 yet? No, I'm 20. Wait, you have to be what 21 to gamble? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Unless they won't even let you in there. They won't even, like, they won't even like nope. let you in the fucking casino. I remember as a kid, I went to one with like my grandfather, and they were like, "Yeah, you can't come in here." I was like, "What the fuck? I in can't Vegas? watch." Yeah, no, I was in New Jersey. The Vegas, they let you in here. Oh well, I went to I went to Vegas as a maybe like a teenager, a young teenager, with my family, um, and they wouldn't let me in any of them. So maybe you can't go like onto the casino floor and like sit at a table, but you can. There's restaurants in the. Where the casinos are, so you have to kind of walk through them anyway to get to where you want to eat for a lot uh, of places. Yeah, if you're like in the like slot area or like the tables and stuff, yeah. They'll, On they'll the other side of something. that, I was in Atlantic City, and <clears throat> that's you could just you just you could just walk into any casino. They don't even card you. Really, that's not how it was for me. Which I was an extremely small child at the time, like fucking baby tier. Human. I don't know why when I imagine <laughs> Super's younger, he has the uh, same exact yeah, head. Everything, yeah. I was actually an adorable like a, child. So. It's like the George Lopez show when he's a kid. He's just a small one with his big George Lopez head. <laughs> I got my first two dollar check from YouTube and spent it on meth, and then it all went downhill. So, <laughs> and that's when you started screaming in all your videos. <laughs> uh, I might cut my hair short again and, and shave one day and surprise everyone. Bring Bye. back Justin Bieber, Dallas. Yeah, yeah I didn't. I, didn't no, like that. I think if I ever get my hair cut again, I'll probably like. I don't know. You should get a super fade. like Go. fuck boy haircut. No, yeah. like shave sides and like frayed in the front. Yeah, fade. No, no, I don't think you should do that at any point in your life. <laughs> I like having yeah. long hair because I like. Whenever growing up, like when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to. All my coaches made me cut it for baseball. Isn't it just like so annoying to do it though? Oh, it's very annoying. Like, dude. I hate having long hair. I have long hair right now, and it's just like I wake up and it's just like matted to my face. Part of it's like stuck in my eye. Like, <laughs> well, it, like my hair is extremely hair. annoying you know because you can move your hair, McNasty. My Shut hair up. is super straight, like extremely super fucking straight. straight. Yeah, so is mine. Super straight, the new sexuality. Yeah, the yeah, new one. like extreme yeah. straight. Or you just never see even, right through. Never man. even thought about sucking a dick at all. So. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Don't speak for your hair. Yeah. Wait, it, it sucks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but yeah, having long hair isn't fun. I hate. I hate that it's so straight. I wish it was a little more more uh, curly. You know. Mine is. Have you ever weird? had it, like pulled on during sex? Somebody just <laughs> she just pulls on his hair like pigtails. Your like, dad does get a little into it sometimes. Like a, <laughs> when you're fucking bikers, they just need something to grab on to. Oh yeah, soup. 
Fucking awful. I like you, McNasty. I like to keep my sexual details off the interwebs. <laughs> oh, so, okay. I'll, okay. Keep your biker fuck sessions private. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I, 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 I would detail. like to do that. Yes. <laughs> Need to set some boundaries here. Yeah. <laughs> McNasty, would you fuck me? Be honest. No. Fuck no. I feel like I feel like you, like you smell like dirt. I feel like you would really desperately fuck me. Uh, I probably would for the they views. Put a bag on your head for the views. Who's watching? Hey, if you if you you, you guys never seen me with some makeup on. Watch. No, I haven't seen you. I with look makeup like on the too. fucking singer of Poison. If I got some makeup on my. <laughs> so a dude with makeup on. <laughs> oh shit! I feel like McNasty would fuck me. Uh, I yeah. feel like everybody would fuck you. Fuck me. I mean, like, dude, dude always smells like like uh, a bar of soap. That's like dude's scent. I he just does. imagine. He smells like old people soap too, like some like Irish <laughs> spring people. bar soap. Irish spring, just like mothballs, <laughs> old closet smell. I'll have you guys know. I I actually I actually have good hygiene, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I feel you like know. you do. I feel like you've talked about your hygiene before. <laughs> just because I have long hair and a beard doesn't mean I smell like shit. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's kind of funny because when I if I ever see like an old video of you and you have your short hair and you're clean shaven, you just look like you smell better. What <laughs> is my, that? my mom, you look like you smell like power bait. <laughs> my mom, yeah, see, I can't like- wait for the day you do a fucking face reveal. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Dude, I want to know what your mom thinks soup uh, smells like. Oh, my mom thinks you smell like horse shit, dude. She's seen your, your profile what? picture really? before. Yeah. <laughs> she's seen your profile picture before, and she's like physically flinched because of all the dip in your mouth. She's the like, dip, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Well, that's fair. Honestly, it, just going off his profile picture, he does look like he smells like meth and Cheetos. So, yeah, yeah that's the I, whole, I get that. That's the, the character. Yeah, uh, no, that's the Well, bit. that's her I whole opinion it. of you because that's all well, she has to go off of. So. Well, well, it sounds you, like your mom. It sounds like your mom Whoa. needs a good old cowboy fucking. All right, it's been real, guys. <laughs> you guys can have like twenty five percent of the company. Yummy, you can Yay. have it. I'm out. <laughs> yummy, enjoy your zero dollars. Yummy, you're the new goon. I'm gone. Yummy, you're, you're the new person to not get paid for anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What is a cowboy fucking? No, no, no. It's like no, a we're not explaining. It's like a bucking bull, baby. Is she riding you? Stop. Either way, I, she can ride. I, I can get rode. I'll be the bull. <laughs> Your cowboy fuckings when you peg me and I'd hop around like a bull rider. <laughs> I, I would actually pay so much money to see Deuce Mom peg you. <laughs> oh, oh. Piscopalian. Oh. I appreciate the offer, dude, but I think I'm also going to have to pass on this one. 25%. Uh, just don't ever. Let them know about your mom, dude. <laughs> I don't have a mom. I don't have a mom. Mm. I got two dads, but you know. Do you? Do you actually? Yeah. I. I, I feel like I don't believe that. That that. I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't know. Why I just had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't have two dads. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, no, I'm fuck genuine. off. <laughs> Fuck off! Two best two dads. You have two dads, Sue, in South Carolina. Well, technically three if you count Gordon Ramsey. Yep. All right. That's sick, dude. <laughs> I want to ask you, Yummy dad. a question. Yummy, know, you ever been like walking down the street in Vegas and seeing like a naked man running across the road or something? It's like something crazy. Where do you like some do wild this? shit? This is still a city, like a real city. I under, where... Yeah, but it's fucking Vegas, dude. Like, is there any <laughs> wild shit that you've seen that you're like, what the fuck? Like, only in Vegas. No. Like, you're in the, he's in the suburbs, How? to be fair. Do you ever go and do anything, dude? He doesn't live on the streets of the strip. <laughs> I don't, like, live in the crackhead part of Las Vegas. I live in a pretty nice house. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. I see, like, white people running their dogs every day. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So if you think that's crazy, I, well, you've never been like downtown Vegas and just seen some. I mean, fuck there's shit. like, there's like a, there's definitely a downtown lot. Downtown Vegas people. is really family friendly. I wouldn't really agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I well, saw Mickey. I, just I saw whenever. Mickey Mouse smoking weed on a stair step. <laughs> okay, okay. Like here, is, here is something crazy that I've seen. The first time I went to the the old strip, which is like north of the the current one, 
It's like old downtown Las Vegas, I'm pretty sure. Um, Is it the one that has that big like thing, the awning over the top? Yeah, yeah, with all the lights yeah, and stuff. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Right, so that area, first time I went there, so there was two guys, one of them had a backpack. The other guy handed him the backpack and he dropped it and like 15 syringes fell out and like a foil oh, ball. Oh my and God. They picked it all <laughs> oh, up and man. put it in a backpack. They traded the backpack and then they both walked in different directions and I was like, that was a shit ton of heroin or something. <laughs> that was a fucked up drug deal. And I was with my mom and then, oh uh, dude, that whole day was horrible because that's where all the, uh, the showgirls are and stuff. And I'm just, a, <laughs> I'm just a young man and they were eyeballing me and I was with my sweet mother. And they kept wanting to take pictures with me, and I was embarrassed. <laughs> Just like tits out. <laughs> yeah, tits and ass out. You could see nipples yeah. and shit, buttholes. With my mom, my Christian oh, mom. Was I, I thought they weren't Whoa. allowed to show their buttholes on the they strip. Wear, I thought that was they like wear like your... thongs, but you can oh, definitely so you see, see like some butthole. Out. Yeah, a little bit of okay. asshole some, brown. Some dokers. <laughs> a little bit of asshole brown. You'd think those would be the people to have like their butthole bleached. But there's a shit ton of uh, homeless people <laughs> it's like sleeping. Floss over a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. There's there's a lot of homeless people that sleep on the sidewalks on uh, on the strip downtown. They're like all in the way. Them? No, I would never. Lay, I've seen them dig through trash and go right back down to go sleep on the sidewalk. So no, I would not you know cuddle the, with them. You know what the most annoying part about the strip is? Is those guys that always flick the cards at you. I'm talking about the cars. Oh, the the one where they have like. This lady can go to your hotel room tonight yeah. and they have a phone number on them. And like yeah. every 16 steps, there's some dude like just looking the car to you, telling you, like, take oh, it. I, dude, I thought you said car. I was like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah. Flicking a car? Yeah. I thought you just meant like little dinky cars. There's just some guy that just chucks cars at you on the strip. Like, <laughs> He's like, flicking not hot at you. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I was in Vegas, I saw like a big fucking truck drive by that just had like naked bitches on it and had a number yeah. on it. And yeah, I yeah, fucking, yeah. Uh, I, I dared my friend to text the number and he was like, just saying some fuck shit. And <laughs> he was just like, the guy replied or woman or whoever and was just like, you know, prostitution is illegal, right? And he was like, come on, daddy needs some suck, suck. <laughs> he never replied. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> just saying yeah. the most dumb shit. <laughs> I, I feel like a goon trip to Vegas needs to happen at some point. Yes. And it, it needs to be documented. Yeah. You know, sleep it in, in my room. One of us would probably end up with our credit cards or something stolen. That That's a fact. Oh, absolutely. I'm but, just going to walk know. around giving my social secu uh, security number to people. <laughs> Somebody's going to get their head shaved also. Um, so, what else would there be? Do might lose his virginity if he goes to Vegas with us. Yeah, that's Let's that's go. what I've been holding out for. A random <laughs> prostitute in Vegas. That's what saying, I've been holding out for up for with 27 the boys, just, years. You've never been like super duper sloppy drunk with the boys ever. So you Are never you know what it He's going to fuck the boys? Oh, I'll listen to you guys. He might. No. I'll listen he to you guys. super I'm fucked up and <laughs> tries to sleep with one of us. <laughs> I probably have to leave the goon. It would be so awkward after that. <laughs> I don't really think so. That would be pretty okay. Uh, you, would, you would be okay if you were sleeping and dude just walked in with a rock hard yes. cock and tried to spread your ass. <laughs> just didn't say a word. Well, he came in and did that. Just didn't say a word and walked in. Not even trying to fuck us. He's just like walking in boner naked. You can't well, turn him down the first time he's trying to have sex. You gotta accept yeah. it. You're gonna scar him forever. Gonna, exactly. I'll never try again. Yeah, a boner. Uh, an, an open boner. Openly concealed boner. That doesn't make sense. Open. Wait, yeah, that's not concealed. Open, 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 open carry, carry boner. boner. Open yeah. Carry boner. <laughs> yeah, that's. You have to have sex. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a famous actress. <laughs> open carry boner. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you care about do you'll fuck him. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you, Yummy. <laughs> Turns out I don't give a Yummy, fuck do about, you care about me. I don't really give a shit about I it. Care I about you. Hey, Applebee's and Smash afterwards, my man. Let's do it. We missed our God, opportunity I feel last like you've time. Heard, I feel like you've heard your parents say that or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very old that person. Was, that was his first words. <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's and Smash? It hasn't worked in 27 years, though. Ain't nobody going to Applebee's. You're 27 now, dude? Yes. God damn. That has nice to be to one be. of the worst chain restaurants. Applebee's? Oh, it's awful. Applebee's. Yeah. 
There's like w- there's one thing I like at Applebee's that I've never found anywhere else, and they're wonton tacos. You ever had those? Yep. No, no, those are okay. Those are like really sounds good. Weird. It, it sounds weird, but they're like they're pretty good. It's like yeah. a little Asian taco, and it's made with a, like a wonton, so it's like crispy. And they're like kind of a- sweet. Wait, how's it? Wait, how's it work? Is it like in an actual taco shell? Like, is it a hard shell? No, is no, it like no, a no. Tortilla? Like, what? The wonton is the shell, and it's yeah, got so like it is, Asian oh, stuff in it. Oh, it is oh, essentially a hard cool. shell because yeah. it's the wonton. But and it sounds like hell. You sound like I, I, a bitch. That sounds all right. It, they're actually pretty good, but yeah, like Applebee's like burgers and stuff. Or yeah, they're, and and there's especially their, their steaks. Steak oh is, god, uh, their is steak it, is terrible. I went there one time, and I was like, never again. Yeah. Don't sponsor us, Applebee's. We don't want your sponsorship. Yeah, we really please. don't want any amount of yeah, money yeah, that you I'll, could I'll ever pay offer you us. to not sponsor us. <laughs> I'd rather have McDonald's sponsor My us. My morals will not allow me to to spot be sponsored by you. My <laughs> morals. That's not like Deucey or Earl. My morals. Like or, 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 <laughs> <Merle. laughs> uh, damn Southern boys will just be Southern boys and pronouncing words weirdly. Yep. Oh, to the next topic. <laughs> you might do that again. <laughs> you really gotta stop. When I push it to the limit. This might get yeah, clips, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, that's that's the third time it's done that. Since I just got, got a new interface a few days ago, and I still haven't completely dialed it in yet. So yeah, I need yeah, to work I, on I, that. I got that vibe by the sound of your <laughs> microphone literally exploding. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Apparently, this guy has asked this multiple times. I haven't seen it until this one. But it's got a bunch of upvotes. I forgot that we have topics and we're yeah. doing a podcast right now. <laughs> it's got a bunch of upvotes on, <laughs> on YouTube, so I guess I should ask it. They want to know which of us has the hairiest feet. Oh, I got no, hairy ass I feet. I don't have hairy feet. I have hair zero on my feet. I have hobbit feet. Well, I guess there you go. There's the answer. Right. The dude. Yeah, my feet aren't very hairy. What about you? I'm not hairy. Nope. Not hairy here. Yeah, you don't really seem like a hairy person. All right, well. Wait, like Yummy looks like a hairy one. person? <clears throat> no, he doesn't look like a hairy oh, person. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like Yummy has like man. three pubes. Yeah, maybe four or five, but yeah. <laughs> you got it. Enough to count. For being an Next Arab, I, I'm actually pre- <laughs> I was going to say, for being an Arab, I'm actually glad that I didn't get like the Arab jeans where just like my oh, back yeah. looks like a, th- yeah, my back looks like a throw rug. Do they wear jeans over there? No. I think that's no. all they wear. No what jeans. Mean? I'm pretty sure yeah, they, they wear jeans, jeans and flip flops. Yeah, oh, jeans, shit, they flip flops, uh, and like a partially unbuttoned golf shirt that they got from like uh-huh. Goodwill, with like Sasquatch they hair do. just coming out. The yeah, buttons. I just see them in like robes. <laughs> yeah, I too. think you watch too many movies. Burlap sex. They drive cars on two wheels and turn around in the desert and wear robes. Dude, those, dude, those videos are so funny. The Arabs <laughs> is ripping down the highway on two wheels in their Toyotas. Yeah, that's, that is honestly what Good Enough Auto should have been, Blart. Yeah. yeah. Dude, we, we don't have any roads here. I, I, I don't even want to try that. How do you try that? Like, the, There's got to be a first time where you try to get your car on two wheels and you either fucking die or you know how to do it. There's no trial and error. It's just no, dude. There's so many like live it. leak videos of people doing that, and then their car I flips f- and they just go flying like forty feet into the air. It's like, yeah, that that looked worth it. You got I that cool like Instagram video. I feel like your genetics would just take over, man. It's like when you throw a dog <laughs> in the water for the first time, it just knows how to swim. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It. So, so if you just put me in, a, in an old Toyota, I'm just gonna end up on two wheels cruising down the highway. Yeah, if I tip you, if I tip you on your side, you'll balance perfectly. <laughs> Just the way it is. How do you even get a car to do that? Like <laughs> they like no. they they basically you have to get it full drive. Of they basically drive in an S and keep going, and it slowly tips more and more as they get more speed, uh-huh. and then eventually it just ends up on its side, and they just they just use the accelerator to balance it. And uh, sounds yeah. like you know a lot about this. Yeah, as, as, as I started it. talking, I realized like <laughs> they, there's going to be a comment at the end of this. <laughs> But no, I'm I really tried fucking it. excited for this next Good Enough Auto episode, bro. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm not driving on. on two wheels on a sandy desert highway. Good Enough Auto right. doesn't care about his fans. <laughs> the fuck off. Give next the viewers topic. what they want. Yes. Next topic. <laughs> I'll yell in the cave. Ah! Next Did I say next. anything about why uh, my room is reverby right now on the last one? Because there was a lot of comments. No. And I don't know if I said anything. Okay, well, it's going to be reverby for the next couple episodes while I wait for soundproofing foam to get to my new room. Okay, cool. Move on. All right, next topic. Anybody got one? Nope. Are you still using a cat's bed? 
for, for no like, i'm not using anything i've given up i used a cat's uh, bed to do a raid ad and now i'm just shouting into the empty room mcnasty has groomed me into minecraft <laughs> Yeah, Minecraft people are really good at grooming things. I can't just, like, ask you to play. I have to groom you into it. <laughs> Soup's never that's groomed a, anything before on his body, but he's about to start grooming from Minecraft. Groom a horse. <laughs> groom a horse. Have you ever lived on a farm, Soup? No. Have you ever been to a farm? Yes, I have. have many have times. Have you ever rode a horse? Yes. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> my sister used to own a horse. It was in our backyard for a couple days. Half my relatives own farms. That's dope. That do? What kind of farms? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's let's leave that there. Next topic. <laughs> no, they have like they have like anything. We didn't even say anything. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Well, were we talking about <laughs> no. horses? What's everyone's horse experience? Anyone have any fun horse stories? God, we are really scraping the bottom of the barrel Ooh, today. Horse <laughs> stories. I'm allergic to horses. Rode horse, sneezed a lot. That's my story. I fucked a couple <laughs> horses my day. I just I can't find Rode a good horse. topic because whenever I go to look for one, it's topic for next podcast. Have any of you watched Food Network? And which chef would you have intercourse with? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great time. Oh, Guy mean? Fieri, Guy Fieri, 100%, bro. We can make sweet love and you can make me some garlic bread afterwards. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, because I want, to, I want him to scream into my asshole. <laughs> John Chris Mason Rotten. says, John Mason says, if you were able to become an, any, an inanimate object, what would it be? <laughs> Squirrel. Uh, porn oh. star dildo. Of That's course. a good one. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Yeah, I'd yeah, probably, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I'd, I'd probably become a rock. Steve Vai's guitar. Oh, yeah, I should have went with that one. He um, can hold me in his arms. Madison <laughs> Beer's iPhone. Ooh, also another good one. Mm, I would become... Well, that's not technically inanimate, <laughs> is it, dude? Because it's got Siri. So you'd have to turn oh, into my Siri. God. Okay, well, I will be Madison Beer's Siri. <laughs> then he gets to talk to her. That's even better. Madison Beery. Get new directions to the nearest Looney and Toonie Bank. I don't sound like that. <laughs> I feel like yes, Madison Beer could totally be Canadian. Who? Like she's got Canadian vibes. Oh, Madison Beer? Mm-hmm. I don't know where she's from. I think she's just from California. <laughs> I think she's like, I think she's just a basic white girl. She is from New York. Oh, New York. Actually, oh. which is arguably That's like worse. the East, East California. Yeah, they're all the same. All East right. California. Cheese, ham, or egg butter? Cheese, ham, or what? egg butter? <laughs> you wanted me to get topics. That's what I thought. That's the cheese, first ham, or egg butter? Yes. Well, Probably both, cheese, ham. <laughs> but like, yeah. both of those can be of ingredients to other things. Like, like a chicken cordon bleu is, is chicken. Cheese, ham. Cheese and ham, yeah. Or like, any baking is... What was it? Egg and butter? Yeah. You can use yeah. butter to cook eggs. Like it, it makes it so the pan. Like, yeah, I'd probably just do stick. like egg butter. I feel like that's a bit more versatile yeah. than cheese ham. Why are we talking about this? I didn't actually expect an in-depth answer to that. <laughs> that should tell me to shut the fuck up and we move on. This, is, this has got to be the worst episode we've ever done. Yeah, we've just- had Yummy on for this one, too. Thanks, guys. Yummy, you're bad, Juju. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yummy's bad juju. You guys came unprepared and you're blaming it on your guest. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't yeah, you have fun in a things about meth in New Vegas? Wait, New Vegas? New, I do the same Vegas. thing too. <laughs> I was Vegas. expecting Yummy to come in here with like some banger Vegas I, stories. There's like, none. Yeah, I saw booby with mom. <laughs> <laughs> I live well, in a yeah. white neighborhood. I see white people walk around with dogs. Come to <laughs> Vegas and see for yourself. There's not crazy shit going on like you think. Dude, I went to Vegas for a few days and I saw some wild shit while I was you there. About it. You were Dude, wild I, shit. That no, was probably wasn't. the issue. I would You're walk down doing the road. Meth behind a dumpster. Dude, I was walking down the fucking road. I saw a big brown fucking school bus with black smoke rolling out of it pulled over by the cops. Like, what's what going on? Pretty right, I'm pretty sure they were fucking cooking meth or something in the school bus driving down the road. <laughs> uh, just like shit like that. Like, you don't have any stories where you've seen wild shit? I went in a helicopter through the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I did that. That was, that was fun. Yeah, that was really cool. Grand Canyon's dope. I saw a double I rainbow. I haven't done touristy shit yet. Huh? 
I haven't done any touristy That's shit yet. That's the most exciting thing, huh, dude? <laughs> Double rainbow all the way dude, across the sky. Rainbow in Vegas. Back. I saw clouds in Vegas. It was crazy. <laughs> That is pretty rare. I'm not gonna lie. It actually is weird. Yeah, the one when I was in Vegas, it rained. So that happens like twice a year. That happened to me as well. It was weird. I was walking down the road and it was raining, and it was like the heat there is so different that it's like I thought it was acid rain because it was like hitting my skin, (laughs) and it was like it was fucking burning. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that is yeah, that was weird. Even when it's like cold, the sun is burning your skin. That's fuck. What it feels like. Have you cooked an egg on your sidewalk yet? I feel like everybody does that there. No. I don't think Why? anybody does that. <laughs> we have a very false impression of New, of, uh, uh, yeah. New Vegas, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> New Goons gaming video. Follow New Vegas. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> oh, I'm down for that. I call dibs on being the one that plays it. Fuck y'all. Okay. We well, should also play the game so, 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 so far, so let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a soups channel and we're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought about going down to the strip and recording like the IRL interview videos and interviewing crackheads. I feel like that'd be please fun. do that. That that'd would be, be so funny fucking so funny. Amazing. I feel like you're gonna get mugged though. Just yeah. holding a microphone, um, you're just gonna get stabbed, and you're gonna sell that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sell that thing. You need to like bring a full like ballistic suit to go do interviews <laughs> with crackheads in Vegas. Like you're not because of COVID, which sucks, but. I went to a fucking club one night when I was there, and this whole group of, like, Asian people rented this booth, and, like, if you rent a booth, that's, like, what, a couple thousand dollars, Probably, right? yeah. Yeah, usually. Like, it's not cheap, and they have, like, security around the booth or whatever, and uh, halfway through the night, this Asian dude had a stack of $1 bills and just, like, threw it up in the air in this booth, and then they left, <laughs> so there's just... All this money laying around on the ground that's just $1 bills. And I told my friend, I was like, hey, you should go in there and, and pick up all that money. So he asked the security guard if he could go into this booth area. And all this money is just on the ground. And it's like soaking wet. Just wet $1 bills. And my friend, <laughs> my friend picks up all the money. <laughs> It was like sixty dollars in one dollar bills. So that's like a wad. It's like a little wad of money. I feel like that's so much more like degrading than sixty dollars is worth. <laughs> like at the it club, was so funny. Just dollars. like the security is just sitting there watching him, like shaking their head, like, "What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> this long haired fuck? Like, what is this long haired fuck doing?" And then <laughs> we go to the casino, and he. <laughs> He gives this wet wad of money to like the <laughs> to the lady to exchange it for chips or whatever. Yeah. She's just like, why is this money all wet? <laughs> and, <laughs> fucking disgusting. And then uh he like he left it in our hotel room uh bathroom for the night with the fan on. So it would all dry out. That probably didn't do shit. And then we went to it's a, a blackjack table and my, like later that or uh, a different night. We were like super drunk, and my friend went to a blackjack table, and the guy was just like, "Yeah, I'm not taking, I'm not counting all those ones." And my friend was just like, "Is my money not good here? My money not good enough?" <laughs> like fucking trying to get in a fight with this blackjack <laughs> dealer. Like, money, bro, yeah, it's like, bro, let's it's leave. Club ground money. <laughs> yeah, just wet ground Asian it's money. Like burpees <laughs> on it. I would not. <laughs> just so fucking nah. funny. Okay, you That's mentioned gross. Uh, a rich Asian, and that reminded me of something that I did in Vegas. So. You did we a rich know, Asian? I did not do a rich Asian, but I did something that involved the rich Asian. So, you know okay. Beats by Dre? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so the the parent company uh, from a while ago, I, I think they parted ways now, but it's uh, Monster Audio. And okay. the founder is Noel Lee. And um, we went to his house because they were trying to get into gaming, and he has a house here in Vegas. He has like 10 houses. One of them here in Vegas, and when we pulled up, it's in like a gated neighborhood where like Steve Aoki and a bunch of other like rich ass famous people live up on uh, the hills outside of Vegas. And this dude has like a twelve, thirteen million dollar house with like there's two Rolls Royces there. There's like a Dodge Demon. There's a Ferrari. There's all kinds of crazy shit. A Dodge Demon? Yeah, it's yes. like the Hellcat or yeah, whatever. Just, but yeah, it's just a Charger, but. Big yeah, engine. it's got like a, a thousand yeah. horsepower or something. Oh, yeah, I've seen these. They're all like beefy looking. Yeah. yeah. And he's just this old ass dude. He's probably like 70 something. And there's like a handful of 20 year old bitches just at his house with the baddest <laughs> titties and the biggest asses. 
And they're just walking around like his slaves, and he's in a wheelchair, just like rolling around, telling them everything the? he wants. Why is he in a wheelchair? <laughs> he's old. I don't know. He's got something going on health wise. Oh. Well, I, you should wait till he has dementia and just bring over a contract that like signs all his money over to you. Okay, that's just so fucked. I'm not over. even gonna think about doing that. But no, that'd be a good meme, dude. <laughs> a good <laughs> meme. Still hundreds of millions of dollars from this one old guy who has no idea what's going on. Why do you but, want to get into gaming if he was 70? Uh, he, he had like younger people trying to like run his business for him, but he wasn't having it. Like they were giving him a bunch of ideas and shit. And he was getting pissed off at this meeting at his house. It was kind of funny. His son was there and he just kept telling him to fuck off. And <laughs> he was trying That's to. Great, dad. They, they had like, <laughs> they had like really generic gaming products, like the cheap Walmart version of like keyboards and, and mouse oh, and yeah. head, headsets and stuff. And he was trying to tell him like the quality wasn't there because we were also giving our feedback and he just he wasn't having it. He was not happy. But I just thought it was funny him having all those women at his house when he's so old for no reason. Just yeah, it's around. not like he's pounding them. His dick probably yeah. won't work. Just around his son. Nice. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch what a of, way to grow up. Just a bunch of prostitutes <laughs> hanging out while your son's over. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Gang gang, am I right? Yeah, that guy's no. crazy rich. <laughs> I would I would not say gang gang if I went to my dad's house and he had 20 prostitutes over while he was rolling around his wheelchair. <laughs> Why not? Some kind of little bitch or what? I would be concerned for his mental health. <laughs> yeah, yes. I think he's gone off the deep edge like he's done. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was going for another topic. Yeah. I, I thought it, one I'm looked good, a little but it toot right there for you, boy. Yeah, if it's yeah, silent it for like two t- seconds, you just make a fart. Why do you do that? Is that like your nervous? It's, for, it's like a podcast thing. I don't know. I just yeah, like, no. It's it's not even a it's not even a podcast thing. It's just like a thing. You cannot have it's silence. Nervous. No, it's if there's point five farm. seconds. <laughs> nervous mouth fart. That's my giving a serious speech. No, like is there anything you guys do like bite your fingernails or anything? Shit my pants. <laughs> Let's make the situation way worse. <laughs> Before every job interview, I just warm up my diaper first by date, shitting just, it. Yeah, first date, there's, shit. like, there's like two seconds of an awkward silence. <laughs> just just all in his diaper. A log rolling down your pants. So what do you do for work? <laughs> they just immediately hire you as a janitor. <laughs> they see how good you clean yourself up. <laughs> I feel like uh, I wanted to hire somebody who's covered in shit to clean up shit. They would just be putting different shit on the wall. I like how when all else fails, we end up on the shit, shit topic. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Just, <laughs> there's no fucking way around it. It's amazing. Do you guys not it, actually have any like nervous tics or anything you do when you're like nah, nervous fam. or anxious or anything? Really? <laughs> I like having you know, something in my hands, not like a dick or anything like somebody's about to say, but okay, I, didn't, I didn't think nobody was going to say that. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> I was, I'm nervous. I better go. I like a big hard cocker. <laughs> 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 just, yeah, just a not like 12 large lobsters <laughs> in between each finger. <laughs> Wait, 12? <laughs> Specific thing ever. <laughs> not like the launch codes or anything, you know, just. <laughs> What the lobsters? lobsters? <laughs> what I like about? that he said twelve lobsters between his fingers. That is not twelve. If you, there should be ten. <laughs> yeah, stu- it's a little uneven. You got stuff a couple of extra in between the some side. fingers. But it has to be twelve. It has to be. <laughs> That's the way math works. I've noticed mine. I open up a social media and I just stare at it and don't even scroll. Like, That's pretty hot. I guess I, I just I guess I, I just do that open too, it yeah. and we'll just like blankly stare at Twitter screen. I just scream. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we <You're>, know. <laughs> oh my not god! Any that good explains answers. so much. <laughs> there was one kid I went to uh, I went to high school with, and he used to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> super nervous! Frog Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> What's making um, you nervous, buddy? He used to. I don't, dude. This guy was weird. He like, I I met him probably when I was like ten. Um, he lived uh. with one of my friends, and his dad. He didn't have a mom. His dad used to just go travel for like two years, 
and not come back. So it's just like this 10 year old hanging out at his house by himself and like his aunt would bring him groceries and shit. So he was he was he was a bit of an odd odd fella. He also told me that he was good friends with the crew in like 2014. <laughs> so I was just like, OK, this guy's pretty like cool. Deluxe but, and speedy. Yeah, then? yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool. But uh, he he's definitely isn't. He had a YouTube channel with like 30 subs, but he had a nervous tick where he would adjust his glasses and he would do it with every single word he said if he was uncomfortable during the conversation. Oh my so God. So me and my friend. Like so much effort. <laughs> I know. It, it was literally like constantly just moving. His, it, like he was like jacking them off. Like he'd just be wiggling <laughs> them while he talks. And we just like had, we'd ask him a question. And just like pull up a little calculator and just press plus one every time he adjusted his glasses to see how many times he did it in the conversation. <laughs> it's just it's so interesting. It's just such an odd <clears throat> nervous tick. So that's I was just curious if any of you had like weird ones like that where you just did something subconsciously. I know I know well, weird. Not any that I can I can think of. Yeah, I, don't, I think the I, don't I think the phone like one's pretty common. You know, you're in any yeah. sort of uncomfortable situation, you just kind of start phone. scrolling social media or something, not really yeah. looking at it, just scrolling. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty common. Uh, there yeah, was a kid probably. I knew named Matt Bean in school. He was a few years younger than me. I went to a just name drop him. <laughs> Matt Bean is <laughs> punching air right now. <laughs> Matt Bean will be fine. Full, full <laughs> legal name. He'll be fine. <laughs> Matt well, Bean lives on 478 him. West Street. <laughs> <laughs> nobody <laughs> called him Matt. Like, if you were referring to Matt Bean, you called him Matt Bean. So that's his, that's his first name to everybody. But his little weird, really, really weird social quirk thing was that when he was younger, he would, like, maybe eighth grade, he would memorize everybody's full names in the yearbook all the way up to, to 12th grade. And that's how he would refer to you. So maybe that's why people called him Matt Bean is because he called everybody by their full name. But what there was the one fuck? day... Where a kid named, now I gotta say this guy's full name too because Matt Bean <laughs> called him his full name. So George Trey Hot Yates, Dog. no Trey Yates was going into the bathroom to to go take a piss, and Matt Bean came crawling out from underneath the sink out of a cabinet and pointed at him and said, "You're Trey Yates." While he's taking a piss, and he did this multiple times. People at my school. <laughs> Weird. Was he? Did he wear a helmet? Was he autistic? That's very like <laughs> autistic to do that. Yes. <laughs> Like he could have been. He could have been like high functioning. <laughs> for all I know, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I, that is that is. But Matt fucking, Bean was a character. If I was peeing and I didn't know this person who just crawled out of the sink, you're blocked by Snoople. Dude, yeah. I, I, would start, I would aim my stream at him and just blast him. <laughs> I'd, pro- I'd probably start, start like, pushing him. real hard, so it's like blast super him. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even a stream. It's like a spray. Yeah, you yeah, put your thumb on your dick tip like it's the garden hose. <laughs> it's so like more forceful. <laughs> Y'all yeah, I'd go, I'd go all fucking Mario Sunshine yeah. on him, dude, and just blast him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At least it's not the two stream. You guys ever two stream pee? That's the yeah. fucking two worst. Stream pee. You've never That's had you that. If you like, okay, the only times I've ever gotten it is like, actually, there, I guess there's three. One, if you ever go to a beach. And like a little tiny grain of sand ends up in your little dick hole. <laughs> you go no, to the hit, and it's me, just yeah. like you just get like a I fork stream. To me. <laughs> or if you nut, that's and you're what, not, yeah, you're not, that's you're what not it is. Yeah. enough. <laughs> it'll just like you know might just shoot to the left for some reason or straight down. Yeah, <laughs> I've never had that <laughs> peel through socks. It'll just shoot straight up into your face. <laughs> Pee right in your own up mouth. into your mouth. <laughs> but hey, defies gravity happens. completely. After, One time uh, I was at the beach and uh, it was like a big family trip, and I was like fucking like five around that age, and I was making people laugh because I was taking like wet sand from the beach that had like shells all in it and just putting it in my like fucking trunks. No, dude. <laughs> and like I, got a I cool knew it was, crab in there. Uh, Dude, I knew it was making people laugh, and as a kid, like, if you do something that gets you attention, you keep doing it, you know, oh, yeah. until it becomes annoying. Mm-hmm. So I just kept doing it over and over until, like, my swim trunks were just full of fucking sand. And, dude, I had to pull so many seashells <laughs> out of my ass crack. It fucking, <laughs> it hurt so bad, and I learned my lesson. 
<laughs> to never crab put... nesting in your asshole. Like. Yeah, dude. I was like pulling them right out of the hole. It hurts so bad. <laughs> what the what, fuck? Uh, what? Yeah, I was just trying to be funny. You're retarded. Oh, yeah. 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 I got, you know, like, if you buy cheap underwear, like, cheap socks, or really any, like, cheap clothing, you get, like, a, a random, like, uh, frayed little piece of cotton that just, like, hangs out. No? Nobody's ever, <laughs> ever had that ever. That's the weirdest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, bro. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> I think we we all know what you're talking about. It's just the fact that you asked us that that we were all quiet and just like, I don't know. Well, of course we know what that of fucking we know is, what that is, bro. <laughs> well, you're nobody fucking you. answered, so I I just I didn't know what the I didn't know if all of you were buying fucking Gucci the last thirty years and then you're don't weak have any. fabrics up there I in Canada. <laughs> that doesn't happen here in America. Here in America, we get ours from sweatshops and they make them right or they're gonna get beat and ain't getting paid That's two right. cents for a day. That's right. But uh, <laughs> I had one of those on my underwear when I was probably like 15. And I don't know how it happened, but I played a game of hockey and like dude, almost an inch of like the the cotton string somehow went up my dick hole. And what? What? How? Dude, dude that I, I, that's <laughs> like mathematically impossible. You did that on purpose. You were sounding. I was not sounding. I was probably 15 or something. Does your dick inhale or something? I I don't know. I literally... It's a vacuum dick. I have played hockey for like 17 years and have never had this happen. Just the one time. And it was literally like almost a fucking inch of this string was in my dick hole. And I, I went to take my underwear off and like, I don't know, I guess kind of went with like ass cheeks first and started to do the front. And I like felt something like tickling but stinging <laughs> and i started panicking i didn't know what the fuck was going on and I, like pulled it out dude it was the nastiest feeling i don't understand how people like take lego guys up their dick hole it, dude, wait it people do that it is sounding yeah people put like oh, screwdrivers yeah. well, i thought you meant specifically <laughs> lego, lego guys i don't know probably avocado seeds i don't know what goes up there man <laughs> oh. it was the most disgusting uncomfortable <laughs> feeling i've did. ever had I That's, yeah, I couldn't fit an avocado seed. I, like in my strings dick are like I don't understand because strings are like limp. You push it against anything, and it's dude. Right. I honestly have you no idea. You did it on purpose. I don't yeah. think I could. You like put like, hairspray on it to make it straight or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then inserted no, I, that, and you were just like, "Oh, what's this in my dick hole?" <laughs> Later on. You know there's a there's a parasite Mold. that lives in the Amazon rainforest where yeah. if you're pissing in the stream, it'll it'll climb, climb up, your, up your stream. It'll swim. It doesn't climb. It swims. Well, whatever, you fucking salmon ass <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> salmon? What? How's that an know. insult? Salmon yeah, climb? <laughs> it pulls out this ladder and goes into your penis. Yeah. <laughs> Prince 90s up to your dick hole. <laughs> Starts Fortnite building. <laughs> Ain't joke. nobody ever had this conversation before, by the yeah. way. Salmon's yeah. cranking Fortnite 90s up to your <laughs> dick hole in the Amazon River. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a niche conversation right there. That's a goons conversation, TM. What? Goon, Whoa, where are you goon. going with this, by the way, McNasty? You die. Just oh, another d- dick hole. Does it kill you? No, hey, no. Kill you. I mean, yeah, nah, I imagine. I, I think nah, a I just heard that it goes in your pee hole and like it doesn't go up into your body. It's it goes in your pee hole and expands inside of your pee hole. So you can't Ooh. like piss. You have to like so, surgically get it removed. I'm saying yeah. if you can't, if you're like, if you're like living in the rainforest and not near civilization, <laughs> you're dead as hell. Well, you're also dead from like a leaf cut if you live in those places. Yeah, so. true. Dude, shit like that is terrifying. Like watching people where they get the parasites in them. Like there yeah. was one that I saw where this woman got like some some like worm in her back or something uh, and. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Know. My back. <laughs> or it was her stomach or something like that, but it had like physically came in like through the flesh. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, it, it didn't go. It didn't come from like her eating something or, or or something like that. I could be getting the story wrong, but like, and this could all be bullshit because it's like reality TV. But she fucking put like a raw steak on her back or whatever because she heard that like that can lure them to come out because they'll want to eat the steak or something. And it, <laughs> she fell asleep with like a steak on her back, and it had. 
climbed up out of her back, ate through the steak, and went back into her back or some shit like that. <laughs> oh it was like hamburger, God, like, like raw Gross. hamburger meat or something. Ew. Oh, dude, God. yeah, that's fucked. I, that's if that's real, that is fucked. Yeah, dude, shit like that is so scary. Have you uh, have you guys ever killed a bug that had a parasite in it? No, I think oh. so. I mean I've seen videos where they start like spazzing out and going dude, fucking ballistic. It's nasty. I stepped on a cricket once, and it died, but its legs started like tweaking, and this little super thin like white worm mm -hmm. just started climbing out of its leg, and uh. it was like three inches long of worm that was somehow inside this little ass cricket. It was so fucking disgusting. It, it's, Have you yeah, ever seen grub worms? Pleasant. No? What is a grub worm? Little oh, fat ones? Dude, there used to be this thing that we would do back in the day when we were like little kids where oh, we would take yeah. like, we would take like a piece of pine straw and there's like little <laughs> holes in the ground and you would stick like a piece of pine straw or something into the hole and like when the pine straw would start wiggling, that's when you like yank it up out of the hole. And dude, you'd pull like these big motherfucking like grub worms out of these holes in the ground. Like, <laughs> dude, I just didn't look up. Hell? I I have a disgusting story about these. I did not know that that's what those are called. When I was a kid, uh, my lawn was like infested with these, and I <laughs> I probably got like twenty of them and jammed them in a water bottle and left it in the sun. I, I didn't tell any of my family members and my mom <laughs> found it and opened it in the garage because she didn't know what it was uh, and the garage smelled so fucking bad for so long because I was some dumb fuck kid that just shoved grubs in a water bottle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that disgusting. was disgusting. Uh, yeah, I was, dude, I was fucking stupid. I used to wait for fireflies to come up and I would just hit them with a baseball bat. I would oh, do that, but I'd just slap them. I would just slap them in my hand <laughs> oh, or something. I, I, yeah, I was a I did mass murderer, bro. Roly polies, I, I used so to squish bad. them. Dude, roly polies. Hey, yes, dude. Question. Do you ever like bend one backwards? Or you try to get it from <laughs> other no. Go the other back. way. Go the other yeah. way. You're like a wrestler just breaking his bag <laughs> on you, over your knee. The top rope. Just swanton bomb a roly poly. <laughs> I ain't seen a roly poly since I was like eight. By the way, do they go? Yeah, where do they go? It's where do they go? Bugs like that. Like I haven't seen a ladybug since I was a kid. Do bugs like that just not exist anymore? When <laughs> you play up? in the dirt anymore? <laughs> oh, no, I definitely <laughs> still play in the dirt. Go and figure deep in the ground. ground. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't do that anymore. Yeah, Dude, I hope finger we don't. Fuck the earth. Is there just going to be like six roly polies on our desk while we're doing a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> There's just one eating through my house right now. Some massive roly poly. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. It's like that would 600 be 600 pounds of roly poly oly. A steel <laughs> bag. You guys ever watch those videos of the like people that clean out wasp nests? No. Oh my god, dude. They keep showing up in my recommended now because I watched one of them. That is fucking terrifying. Like people that have like uh, dry rot in their walls because a wasp yeah. will just like make a massive nest. Did you no, guys I ever like destroy wasp nests as a kid? Mm. I used to. I, I used to like. Lot. I used to try to go around the neighborhood and find them. And I used to just use a pool noodle and I used to hit it and just run. And that was my whole tactic. I would always get like super hot water in a cup and put like dish soap in it and like stir that it works. around and just like sling it onto a massive wasp nest and run away. <laughs> the hell why? It works. That's a, that's a formula. It Apparently works. The, the lore is that it blinds them. Uh, really? I don't and they know. fall onto the ground and you just squish them. The lore? The lore. <laughs> What is, what We're is such gamers? <laughs> what is the weirdest way you guys have killed a bug? Uh, Probably how I just said it, honestly. I I think I put I put I put, I could put like a fly in my eyelid one time when I was a kid and I just closed my eyes. <laughs> what? And I just suffocated. What? You are retarded. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're not. That was a true no, story. I don't think no, you're joking at all. <laughs> no, that was a true story. Just stuff a bug up in my eye and just keep my eyes closed until I, I can't just breathe anymore. Cockroach under my big toenail is still there. <laughs> never got out. Thanks, Rank. It's I just fossilized a, under my big toe. I have now. a symbiotic relationship with a cockroach under my toenail. <laughs> symbiotic? That word is too big for me. Okay. The symbiote. <laughs> symbiotic. We just talked about them. I just have a Simba relationship with Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yummy, what were you going to say before I, McNasty dumb? I killed a toad one time and I got in big trouble and I felt bad about it ever since. I, I found a toad in my front yard and I put a washer, like like nuts and bolts and washers and yeah. shit. I put a washer in its mouth and I threw it on my neighbor's roof and it died. <laughs> What an asshole! <laughs> something, something, something about like a bug being tiny makes it justified to kill. Right. Like, if, if, right. if it's if it has any mass dude, to it, like, 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 like a dog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, something about it. Like think about it. Like if you feel bad if you kill a frog, but if you kill like a, a roly right. poly, you're like, oh fuck it, who cares? There's definitely like a size threshold where like yeah. you start yeah. to have a conscious about it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't put a nut in its mouth and I never really it. thought about the a size <laughs> threshold for guilt. Yeah. It really <laughs> is killing. though. Like oh, yeah, you don't sure. care if you kill a roach, but if you kill a frog, it's just like you yeah. cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like yummy, did he? Just threw it on a roof. I got in trouble. Well no shit, um, you threw a frog on your neighbor's <laughs> <hurt>. <laughs> I said I felt bad. <laughs> I'd be so confused if I woke oh, up in the morning. Oh, I put a bee in the microwave one time when I was a kid. <laughs> Did you put a bee in the microwave? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, so <laughs> what, what happened? happened? What happened? Did it catch you on fire? It, 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 no, it just, it just stopped moving. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping it would like, explode or something, Did but it no, just, it? like it's. I, I remember seeing its wings just like deteriorate. <laughs> McNasty yeah, probably no. thought he was making honey, yeah. dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what happened. I think... What did you think what was going to happen? I thought it was going to explode, like, boom, like a firework or something, but no, uh, just, oh. just stopped moving. It just died. <laughs> <laughs> Humans are assholes, bro. I think we are the dicks, two yeah. dumbest fucking ones of mine, I, I used to catch houseflies, and I'd take their wings off and then throw them at my front door. <laughs> and they would just die instantly. Try to fly it. now, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I used to crush flies in the blind. Like, you know how they get in the blinds yeah, of the house? Yeah, like, yeah. trying to fly. Yeah. I would take the I blind and, like, slowly, like, crush it. <laughs> oh, like, into the like blind. The, like the cracking sound, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, there's uh, fly goo all over the blind and window. <laughs> the other one I got in trouble for, I like literally killed a, a spider with fire. I got my sister's hairspray and I, I just before. I sprayed it all over the spider and it was like stuck and then I lit it with a match and it just like went and oh, no, I, did, I did it with the Dude, where you hold the lighter spider, and, like a flamethrower. Oh, you just flamethrow it. Yeah. Cooked spider smells so fucking bad. Yeah, it smells like hair, doesn't it? Yeah, it, yeah. Like hair. Hair is awful. It was nasty, but my parents were not happy about that one at all. <laughs> well, yeah, because you could have started a fire. Yeah, I don't give a shit about the spider. <laughs> it wasn't even a big one, just like one of those little cellar spiders that just minds your own business. Okay, do we God. have? Should we do another? Should we do another topic, or or do you want to end it on the untimely death of? I, I, I swear there has to be more ways that I've killed insects. I'm trying to like. I feel like over. I'm gonna remember them later. Yeah, like anybody ever put salt on a snail? No, oh, I no, I've always heard it was I've crazy, but I've never slug. done it. Yeah, it just we, like yeah, what, what actually happens? Just like up real tight. We used to put it on I, leeches because we used to collect turtles from this little like dam thing, and my friend had a like pond in his backyard. We used to put them in whenever there was a leech on its back. We used to just put salt on it, and it just like. It, it just like do a little dance and then die. The fuck shit! Ouch! Yeah, it was, it, yeah, I swear yeah, I saw yeah, like I a cartoon. I swear I saw like a cartoon one time where someone did that and the snail like fucking exploded. And I, I thought that like I thought that that's what happened whenever you would do that to like a snail for some reason. So, <laughs> I think so. No, it just and like, I, no. I think that I did it and I was very disappointed. Like, it, I don't even think it, it killed up. the snail. I don't yeah, even think it, it does bubble it. up. Yeah, yeah, it does. It gets like bubbly. I I heard that if you put uh, grits. On an ant bed, they'll eat them and then explode. Grits? Really? Yeah, because they, huh. they, like, when they hit water or something, they expand. I don't know if it's true. Ah, oh, I guess that does make sense, well, that's but like, I've that's never like, thought of that. I, I've heard... It's like feeding Alka-Seltzer to a bunch of seagulls. Yeah, I've heard rice. I've heard if you give seagulls or ducks rice, they'll just pop. <laughs> but I don't know how true that is. Why, so why is it like that? <laughs> so, so please don't go out give seagulls feeding laxatives. your local seagulls. Probably because uh, somebody like, got arrested for doing that not that long ago at uh, Huntington Beach. Yeah, they did it for like a YouTube. How is that prank. illegal? How is that a law? 
Do um, not give it's, it, I fr- No, I, it's not. It wasn't so Endangering much. Endangering wildlife. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It might yeah. Be that one, but I think it's because of the actions of it after where the seagulls just shit on everybody. That was <laughs> yeah. because that person did that. I, for, it, I forget. It's some weird law, like just like disrupting the public or something. And yeah. Uh, they got disturbing arrested. the peace. How does one get caught? <laughs> if you get caught as a criminal f- g- giving laxative seagulls, you are the shittiest criminal. Well, they filmed yeah. it and uploaded it to YouTube and monetized their crime. Right, so, so you're uh, the shittiest criminal, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine doing that purely out of the hatred of your heart and not for a video. <laughs> yeah, you don't even do it for like a bit. You just literally hate seagulls and beachgoers. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long, like process though i feel like because laxatives they, they take a while to like go through your system right so you wouldn't even i i'm well i mean a seagull system bird. is like three inches so i can't imagine it took that well, long. i guess i guess i just yeah. feel like that would just be like aha i gave it a laxative and it just flies away and you don't see anything <laughs> yeah like four <laughs> hours later it shits, yeah, it goes, in the ocean shits on a house know. like two miles away <laughs> you don't even see it that'd be so, like, such soaked a letdown bread. that would be a good one what? NyQuil bread? NyQuil soaked bread for seagulls and they pass out when they're flying. <laughs> falling seagulls everywhere. But just like Pearl Harbor of seagulls? I'm just think. lighting a rat on fire. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> How would you give a seagull a laxative? You just like lace a whole loaf of bread with I NyQuil think, and throw it out? I think they out. did it with like fries and stuff and, and they just shit everywhere. That is so They make liquid fucked. laxative. That is so fucked, dude. Yeah. Scoot Have you guys ever heard of Ipecac syrup? Yeah, isn't that the it's thing like a, that just makes you instantly shit your brains out? Like no, it instantly? makes you throw up and induces oh. vomiting. Oh that yeah, yeah. that's the thing on Family Guy that like bit from a long time ago. I think that's what that. You was. guys ever watch uh, like the competitive eater YouTubers or like the people that do like <laughs> God, yeah, like fucking Matt Stoney? Oh, Matt yeah. Stoney? Dude, what? Yeah. There, there's this oh Blark. If you've never watched that, I, I highly, haven't. highly recommend this YouTuber is called that, LA is that Beast. What I'm doing the rest of my night in so LA Beast. You, you, you will spend hours watching this Blark. Th- this dude named LA Beast pushes the fucking boundaries of the human body. There was one video. <laughs> there was one video where I don't think he has it up anymore because I just tried to watch it again recently. His dad did something to piss him off, mm-hmm. and he drank like. I think he drank like a, a liter of Pepsi or something. It was Crystal Pepsi, like expired from 1980. Well, no, no, no. There was one where he drank like, I think he drank like regular Pepsi. He got in his dad's car, drank like a liter of Pepsi, I think, and then took like Ipecac syrup or something like that and threw up all in his dad's Why? car. Why? Just puked all oh. in his <laughs> Why? No. It was so funny. Like he threw up all over himself and oh. all over like the steering wheel. <laughs> just, just. Oh, that is fucking oh. gross. Dude, he'll he'll drink like a pitcher of eggs, just some crazy shit. Dude. Yeah, I feel like people down. that are like that, that do that kind of shit, probably are gonna die at like forty five. <laughs> yeah, sort of well, I mean, True Nice is still going. That guy ate like light bulbs and like. Yeah, but he didn't start doing that until like he was already forty five. Yeah, I feel like he's been forty five since I was nine. Like, yeah, I feel like Shoe Nice is the same person. <laughs> I feel he's like stuck in an infinite loop. Shoe Nice, I don't think will will ever ever die. Oh, by the way, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> just I wouldn't, now. yeah, I wouldn't mention Shoe Nice because I, I fucking, I watched one of his streams that he was doing on YouTube while I was on Twitch and we got like him to swallow earbuds or something, but <laughs> because he did that in an old video where he swallowed like AirPods down to his fucking neck and it, just the sound, he had the mic on, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it was AirPods, it was regular iPhone like earbuds, like the old ones with the mic on it, Oh yeah. and you could just hear the coughing through the mic, it's just like so bass boosted and funny dude, <laughs> but like he, he spam commented all on one of my YouTube videos, I had like, I had to hide the word shoe nice from my comments. <laughs> Because he Why? has like 50 fucking he YouTube does. accounts uh-huh. and he was like, soup, where did you mention me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like just saying a number at a time in a comment and just <laughs> did it fucking <laughs> repeatedly for like an hour because straight. Because you made him eat headphones? Mm. No, he was like, what video did you mention me in? And then proceeded to spam my entire comment section with oh different God. YouTube channels, like from different YouTube channels. <laughs> that is. It was fucked. Didn't, didn't he have some shit going on where like his wife left and he just ate a bunch of Spongebob stickers and stuff? In an alley, specifically. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what got him on the map was the Spongebob yeah. stickers in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Oh, my wife left me. I better eat SpongeBob stickers in an alley. <laughs> like, why That's is that 87. the next logical step? That's like the Hail Mary of <laughs> trying to become internet famous. <laughs> I have no other ideas for my life. I'm just going to kill myself and upload it. <laughs> that Ellie Beast it. guy. Oh, go ahead, Soup. No, go ahead. I was going to say that Ellie Beast guy about the eggs. He ate, um, he ate a dozen eggs upside down through a tube. And then threw it all up into a frying pan and then ate an omelet of the eggs that he threw up. Oh, my. Dude, that's like some Max Mofo bullshit. Oh, right dude, there. He, he also, he drank a gallon of honey while he got like a beekeeper to let bees like swarm his beard. So he's drinking a gallon of honey and bees are like all over dude, his they're face. They're probably pissed. Clark, you're going to have a fun time yeah, tonight, is, I'll just tell I, you I was, that. I'm, I'm going to get arrested for tax evasion because of this YouTube channel now. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, all right. On that note, should we end it? Probably, That's yeah. On yeah. my tax evasion. Tax yes. evasion. Okay. Don't yes, pay please. your taxes. Go okay, to prison. Do your outro. Paying taxes is for pussies. Yummy, thank you for, thank you for being here. Of we, course, we appreciate of course. you. It was fun. Yeah. Thank you for being you here. You don't need to lie. It wasn't yes, fun. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. This is probably like one of the <laughs> most dumb, random, laughless podcasts we've ever had. <laughs> not because of you. I'm not saying because you're here. You're just blame no, our guess. guests. Yeah, normally it's fine, <laughs> yeah. but when you no, show it's up, yeah. no, it's, okay. it's yummy. 100 yummy's fault. Thanks, yummy's guys. Never coming back. You're a piece of shit. Fuck <laughs> off. Thanks, All guys. Right, do the outro. <laughs> All right, download on Spotify, subscribe, like the video, download on Spotify, subscribe. Uh, go check out Yummy's channel, subscribe to him. And okay, my lights are starting to flicker, so we need to stop right now. Ooga, booga, ooga, booga, ooga. <laughs> <laughs>